it is scorching. And for the Brits of Ben de la Mina on the Costa del Sol, that will do nicely. They come for the sun, the sea, and quite frankly, all manner of after dark activities. Well, on a day like today, it's not hard to see the attraction. In fact, hundreds of thousands of us like it so much, we've made Spain our home. So, June the 23rd really matters. And of course, people are talking about migration. The difference here, though, is that the migrants are us. This is Bonanza Square, home to many of Ben de la Mina's British retirees. We are never far from a beer or two. So how are you going to vote then? I'm going to vote to stay, of course. Uh, and it's, a lot of people think it's because we live here, it's in our interest. But we're residents here, we're legal here, we, I own a, ho own a house here. That's not going to change. Those expats who've lived abroad more than 15 years don't even get a vote. A legal challenge failed in the Supreme Court earlier. Is it going to make a big difference? Um, I think so, I think so. Joanne um, came here 10 years ago to open Eurobar. Uh, not, it transpires, a pro-EU establishment. All it makes a difference to is the people that can travel through the rest of Europe to get to England to have free money, basically. Have you not made the reverse journey, though, to here, to Spain? I don't get free money. But you've travelled, you can travel yeah, through, I have. You set up a yeah, business. But so what? I'd have to show my passport. Get a visa, maybe. So what? Look at our lovely tree. We love that. Every time we go by, I love that tree. Yeah. Won't get that in England. Gina and Brenda have been here 30 years. Pensioners make up one in three Brits in Spain, and some are seriously hard up. There's our favourite 100 potato shop, which is now a Euro shop. Get anything in there. We've dressed you out of there, haven't we? <laughs> Brenda was even briefly made homeless recently. Are you having a mug, Brenda? Or a, uh, no. You'll have to have a mug. I haven't got a clean cup. Gina, who volunteers at a local charity, took her in. Yeah. Do the people that you're all helping, do you honestly talk about this referendum as a big issue, something you worry about? It became a big issue a few weeks ago when it was imminent. Then they all started to panic. Pensioners from Spain the panic the is about healthcare, free to EU oh, citizens. I had an accident and broke my leg off my hip and, and they took me all the way to Malaga from here, all the way to Malaga. I was in for about a week. How they much did that cost? It didn't cost me anything. Oh. Gina genuinely fears they'll lose this right and may have to go home. Do you worry for yourself? Yes, you yes, do. categorically yes. I don't have anywhere to go in England. I don't have anyone I can knock on their door and say, please take me in, in England. And I would be afraid that if I landed at the airport, they would tell me I wasn't applicable to have anything. Trepidation two down the road in Torremolinos. There's no guarantee yet that expats' pensions will still rise with inflation if Britain leaves the EU. We're all living on a budget, and uh, if, you, if your pension's going to be frozen, it, it would mean maybe going back to the UK. For a lot of people, I think, you know. The pound will plummet like a stone, and that will not help pensions and uh, any other income that comes out of the UK. Pound in free fall is the latest gloomy prediction from the Prime Minister. He's warning sterling will drop, holiday prices will rocket. He's even got fake Elvis worried. It will affect me because obviously there's not as many holiday makers, there might not be as many bookings. Would you think twice if it costs more? I would, yeah, we yeah. deserve cheap well, holiday. If it's scaremongering, it's working. There's concern on the costas. In or out, they like things here just the way they are.